Yeah, can you see my screen? Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Is this... Oh, no, sorry, I opened the wrong file. So this basically is the same as what I shared in the afternoon Chinese. So this is an English version because I really want to share our progress to our international friend. So hi, I'm L in our project this factory, which is like we dislike the illegal factory. So this is a project that's quite special because it's a local um, MPO who working on environmental issues called Citizen of the Earth Taiwan. They come, they came to GovZero Hackathon and proposed that they want to build an online system or online service that can help the citizens to report illegal factories that are struggling the environment and resident safety. Like on this photo, it's um, uh, an illegal factory on fire, but because there's no um, safety measure or there's no way to uh, retrieve water within 200 meters, so it polluted the uh, whole farmland. So the concept is quite simple. First, we want the user can take the photo and report the location of the factory as easy as possible, as fast as possible. And then they don't have to send the official government documents to the government themselves because they want to keep anonymity and to be safe. So the MPO, the CET, the foundation, will help them to organize all the reports and issue the official documents to the government. And they will keep tracking on government's response as part of their efficacy. So, um, I don't know if you have similar projects in your countries or your communities. This is a demo. You can visit us on this factory.tw or scan the QR code. So first you can locate where you are and then you can add a new factory on the farmland, which is the white area on the screen. And you select location, then you can upload the photo, which uh, like an illegal factory photo. And then you can leave your contact information or you can choose not to. And then you can add more details first, like what's the name of the factory or what type factory do you think is a metal factory or other, or maybe it's polluted, it's not very bad. So basically that's, we hope it's, at, it's simple enough to report a factory. So, this is our demo. How many minutes have left? Just quickly say that I'm also a product manager in this project, and this project is quite complicated. So in the past, probably it's not good for GovZero community to collaborate with NGO in the project like this. So we try very hard to make the collaboration between open source community and advocacy NGO possible. And this is our timeline. So to put it in short, we spent around three months to organize a team that can work together and decide the technical framework. And we managed to deliver our product before the press release to push the government for their agenda. And we are still continue to develop our products for the next milestone. And I'm very glad that we have a very strong community that people gather every week, around 10 people and People are happy with this, and we have at least over 20 contributors over the past year. And now we have contributors from four time zones meet together every uh, Wednesday week. Uh, every week on Wednesday. And also another part we are doing is the capacity building for the NGO. So first is learn the new digital tools, and then they can know how to communicate with uh, developers and designers, like what do they need, what website they want to look like, and also introduce open source culture and collaboration, like how to do things in open source way. That's the capacity building part. And now within one month, we have quite good report records, but we want to optimize our interface and do more to lower the barrier for reporting the illegal factory and push government more on uh, removing those illegal factory. So I really want to invite everyone, no matter what project you're working on, can share your product development stories with us. That's also one thing I want to learn. So thank you for listening.